Hi everyone, this is Abby again, and we're back for part two of our sk stitch sketch tutorial. I think I'm going to stumble over the name of the program um, all day. So what I wanted to show in this video is um, how to erase, how to create lines, and how to save your file. So the first thing that we'd like to do is erase uh, some line or some cross stitches. So each box here is considered a cross stitch. Um, so what we have to do is in the bottom left next to the pencil it's highlighted in blue is the little eraser if we tap on the little eraser we see erase all which erases everything the little eraser erases one square at a time and then the pour cup will erase all of one color um, occasionally the pour cup only wants to erase one square at a time um, like I've said in some of my comments in the Stitch People group, this program can be a little bit finicky, so I generally just go with it and, and do what I need to do to get the job done. So I'm going to choose the regular eraser here and just show you that we can erase, you know, square by square. Um, we grab the pour cup. The pour cup will only erase the same color that is touching each other. So if we do the pour cup on that line, it erases that whole line same over there and then they're gone <clears throat> so i'm gonna go and zoom out just a little bit so um what we want to do now is i'm going to draw some lines so in order to draw a line you go back down to your bottom left menu to the pencil click on that twice so you pull the menu up the very top choice top left choice is a straight line click on that so now what you're going to do is you find your starting point, you click, and you drag. Now, as you can see here, my line still has this um, little dashed line rotating around it and the, the four little adjuster gray teardrop looking things. So what I can do is if I need to move my line, I can grab, right now I'm grabbing the bottom right one, and I can grab that line and kind of manipulate it how I need to. And it's only moving that end of the line. If I need to move the other end of the line, I grab the bottom left teardrop. And this is where it gets tricky because now it's moving everything. Top left teardrop and top right teardrop. So what I'm thinking, and you guys are kind of learning along with me here as I'm looking at this, is that what I'm thinking is that our line, whenever we draw a line, where we start the line is its anchor point, and that's where it's going to stay. So I started drawing the line from the left side, and it appears that no matter which of these uh, teardrops I use to move the line it's only moving the far end of the line which was not the anchor point so once you have the line where you need it to be the way to lock that into place is in the top right corner of your menu you'll see the little dashed box with a check mark if you hit that it makes your line permanent now if you decide you didn't like what you did in that top right area again there's a dashed box with the undo symbol and you can undo your line um, currently faded out in the top right there's a dashed line with an X um, while you're drawing your line and you still have the adjust teardrops you can delete the line by pressing that X but anytime you draw a line and you have it where you want it make sure you check that green check mark dashed box to lock that line into place and that way it's no longer going to move so this line is actually the line that I use um, for half stitches and things like when I'm doing hair only because um, that the half stitch X's in the program are a little bit funky so like really quickly I'll just show you let me put a couple cross stitches here like this so we'll have Okay, we'll say that's somebody's face. 
and we're going to have some hair so let me pick a different color for some hair okay and so generally I have Frankenstein here so what we want to do is some half stitches kind of to give some hair down onto the head so what I'll do is I'll grab my line tool and I'll just make my little line and see I didn't put that where I wanted it so let me X and undo and this gets a little tricky uh, especially depending on the stylus that you use so here I have uh, I got my line and I made my little half stitch so what this shows me is that I need to put a little half stitch of hair there um, if, if I need the half stitch to be uh, further up then um, can draw my line a little bit taller and then always press my green check mark so this way it kind of denotes that I'm gonna have a half stitch there I don't do a lot of these works for um, on commission for purchase so I don't show my patterns to anyone really um, if you are creating these patterns and showing them to the customer uh, in order to get approval before you uh, start the stitch um, it may be beneficial to you to learn how to use the half stitch or the you know the squished X um, in those areas but at this point I haven't figured it out yet so um, this is kind of how I get by with those half stitches and then if the hair needs to have some spiky hair um, like a, on a diagonal I just draw that in kind of the same way um, again the lines um, are, are pretty finicky and I've just kind of learned to um, to make it work for me and so I do you know draw a line and delete it if it's not quite where it needed to be so um, so that's how you do the lines um, you can also erase the lines um, by using the erase tool in the bottom left and you just tap on the or origination spot of the line so you have to like click tap on you know I started at the left and drew my line to the right so I'd click the eraser on the left part of the line um, once you have a big pattern going and you have lines kind of intertwined everywhere it's a little bit harder to erase those lines so um, try to be pretty confident when you're placing those lines so <clears throat> the next thing I want to talk about especially once you've been adding some of these small details with the lines you definitely want to make sure you're saving um, pretty regularly I don't think that stitch sketch has an auto save feature so the top left here there's a little disk button it, it's save on many of our other programs so we press save it comes up with a generic file name that's just filled in by sketch stitch sketch so we're just going to change it so we know what we're looking at and we're looking at tutorial part two and I'll save that so now any so now you can see the top left the disk is grayed out anytime you make a change just like with lots of other um, programs once you make a change you can save again so just make sure that once you're making a significant change you're getting